Greetings and welcome everyone. It's an All You Can Geek bonus round. Special edition. We have to talk about breaking news. I'm your host, Jim Gast, joined by Mike Sneedy. What's up? Corey Feinson. Yo. And Tony Korkanakis. Hello, hello. Welcome, guys. Welcome, listeners and viewers, to a bonus round. Um, if you're wondering what content we've got for you this so far, we've got our movies of the year last week. We also have coming out this week as well, or before this, if you're listening to it before, our, movie, our games of the year. Uh, so check for that stuff. But first, uh, there was a small, small bit of news that broke this morning, uh, and we felt rather than just do our games of the year, we need a bonus round just for this topic. Uh, yeah, so earlier this morning, I can tell you guys a story. Uh, Corey posts in our Discord chat of uh, Wall Street Journal reporting that Microsoft would be acquiring Activision Blizzard. And uh, I was like, it does not seem likely at all. I'm like, I, I posted the little meme, like, I don't believe you. And I'm like, I just didn't think that was real. But then you're like, it's Wall Street Journal. I'm like, yeah, they're kind of reputable. As I'm thinking, yeah, they're kind of reputable. And then Tony just pops in with the official announcement from Twitter from Microsoft saying, yes, we have acquired Activision Blizzard. Um, and then... 70... Yeah, 68.7. 68.7 billion dollar acquisition for... Activision and Blizzard, um, the whole shabazz. Uh, so I think if you take all of the IP, the entities that they own, uh, I think, Tony, you've made that side of your prediction. I, I'd give it to you in a second. <laughs> I mean, I think I think he covers that, right? I mean, that's yeah. like 20 companies right now. I mean, I think he covered three. Um, so, yeah, so by that by itself is impressive. Uh, but there's a lot of questions here, which we always have with Microsoft, but also with just the video game industry, um, questions that we wanted to talk about. So uh, is it a good thing? Or is, it, is it a bad thing? I mean, as as an Xbox fan, as which I am, which I love timing of this shirt. Thank, thank you guys. They purchased this shirt for me a couple weeks ago. Tony. I haven't worn it yet. Tony did, yes. It was unclear in some place. It was hilarious. Tony, uh, Corey gave it to me and I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna find that special moment to break this shirt out and wear it. Uh, and it's great, but I, I would say like, like I'm not, like overly enthusiastic about the purchase. I'm happy, like, listen, it's it's amazing buy. It really is an amazing get for Microsoft. Uh, it brings them amazing content for Game Pass, and I understand that part. But there's a lot of guarded optimism and also skepticism with Microsoft's future, you know, plannings that I'm worried about. And I don't know about you guys, but and Tony, you had posted a bunch of isn't stuff. That, Abby, what, what's that, Mike? Is, isn't that secondary, though? No, I mean Tony. What, like, what I think thinking? the big the big part of this is this is going to most likely lead to the shakeup up top that needed to happen to this company. Oh, definitely, and that, I mean that's a so, that's a major positive that could happen like, from this. this is, but you're not spending. But don't don't paint them to be the heroes here. This this deal was well in production before that. It doesn't happened. it doesn't really matter because this is really one of the only ways. Like we wanted these this company to disappear pretty much. So this the is the only way we wanted the leadership. Bobby leadership. Yeah, leadership this is industry. how it can. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> right. They can this stay, is and he parachute. goes. This is pretty much the only way it can happen. Who no. cares about him? I don't like, know people that work for him. I, no, but maybe you're getting, I don't know. You're, you're <laughs> more you're more worried about punishing the one bad actor than saving the majority of the people who are good at the company. That seems to, to me. This is the only way, really, one of the only ways where you save the companies and get rid of him. I think it's a great take on that, Mike. And I do, I did think that first myself. But Tony, I mean, there's other concerns here, right? I mean, there's yeah, well, major I mean, concerns. I mean, if we're just talking about strictly the Activision Blizzard controversy over the past year, uh, I mean, first of all, you're taking away their agency because people at Activision Blizzard have been uh, pushing for unionization, right? They've been pushing for that, for a seat at the table. Uh, we just saw, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago that, that one of the first uh, game studios actually officially picked up unionization. So there's high hopes for that. There was a glimmer of hope that uh, with enough pressure and continued downward trending, downward trending of Activision Blizzard yep. stock, that the board would be forced to either uh, push Bobby Kotick out or be removed by the shareholders come... Uh, in the next, I think, three or four months uh, when they do their yearly, um, their annual thing. Uh, because 
Bobby surrounded himself by a bunch of yes men that he made a bunch of money and he let them make a bunch of money. So obviously they're not going to kick him. But if the shareholders continue to lose money in their stock, in their portfolio, because Activision Blizzard stock has been tanking ever since this controversy began, then that could have forced action. And all Microsoft yeah, well, did... How much, how much worse does it get for everyone who works there during that time? For how long? How long does that have to... It's already bad. The it's already bad. There's, there's bad. nobody working well, on this not stuff that right bad. It's worth $70 billion that's still. The, that's so. the IPs. That's, we're, that's not talking about games. That's talking about the intellectual properties here. Let me, let's be clear. Sure. That is why Microsoft bought Activision Blizzard, not because oh, they're a game output. I mean, Microsoft now has the exclusive rights to Call of Duty. That's huge. At the end of the day, that's huge. I mean, sure, uh, it, it's the number one, but I mean, at the same time, $70 billion. $70 well, billion. Dollars. How well, do you okay. recoup that? How? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this in perspective. I'm, let me just put this in perspective. Well. I, would, I would put this on the exact same level, exact same level as Disney acquiring Fox. It's the same. It's, I would put it on the exact same level. And that was very close deals. How does Marvel recoup that? But they are. You will recoup this this doll. You they will not get that money back. The, if we we said the same thing about Minecraft years ago, and they've been doing great with that product. It's still out say, there. Yeah, still right. Money. Minecraft Minecraft has been because they've been left mostly uh, autonomous since the acquisition. Mm -hmm. uh, Team Mojang they they still control all the game updates uh, and stuff like that but that's that's an example i have for like activision people wondering what's going to go on your negative like the the negative side of things which is a reality and it, it could happen could also go the other way where they're still allowing them to be autonomous and this and this doesn't take over for over a year um, i mean where the, that ship is on fire i think we can all agree activision blizzard is on yeah fire. oh god yeah oh god yeah Mo i'm not Mojang saying I'm was saying great that... like they they had <laughs> yeah. they had no, nothing I... to do it's just notch <laughs> tweeted not... hey i'll sell my uh, i'll sell this company for four billion dollars and I somebody not, microsoft uh, saw the tweet and was like all right let's do this all i'm doing is saying in terms of them operating independently uh, that that's not gonna said, happen that's not gonna I'm, happen that being said I, but I don't know how much it interferes with the current processes. Like, is this still? Gonna, it, I don't think it impedes the process at the moment, anyways. It's still full. Like, even the the alliance that is doing this is still full steam ahead, working, or trying to earn their rights. Like, their their seat at the table. They're still going ahead with those plans, and nobody's telling them they can't do that. There's no way Microsoft is going to let them unionize. I, yeah, zero, I, mean, I don't, zero I don't percent think so. Chance. I don't think zero so either. Percent but, chance. Yeah, because Microsoft will be like, be nah, get the love. get yeah, fucked. No way. Yeah, Microsoft but, will just straight up tell them to get fucked. Yeah, Corey, what do you think here? You've been well. No, I, you guys touched on a lot of the things. Like initially, you hear this and like you think, oh, this is this is great because like oh, this yeah. is redemption. It's exciting. It's exciting. Kick all the like yeah. the, the hierarchy that has been poisoning this company for years. Kick them out because now we got new ownership. We can get all that bad blood out of there. But like you got to remember, this is like these are mega billion dollar companies, obviously. That are moving things around moving assets around and so it's not like microsoft's coming in here trying to save the day they're not being like oh hey we're the good guys we're going to save everybody and like fix everything that's going on in this company that's not why they're doing it they're doing it because it's a business move and they saw a weakness that they could take advantage yes and yeah the move that's going and to help them honestly if that shit didn't go down in activision blizzard this would probably would never have happened. no absolutely never no, absolutely, no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. because no. because Bl right. <laughs> because the the market price before this was announced I think uh, Activision Blizzard is only valued at uh, about 50. 49, 50 billion dollars. So yeah. they just got an extra, uh, what, 19 billion or so? Yeah. yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. 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 So that only happened because Kotick saw the writing on the wall. It was like, this is the way that I can get out, stop getting mm -hmm. all this heat, because you're going to see, you're going to see a lot of people, a lot of news outlets, they're just suddenly going to not care about reporting on Activision Blizzard because. Uh, by the end of next year, they're going to be like, oh, well, uh, acquisition's coming, and we're going to let Phil Spencer uh, clean house. And... Which, I mean, it's already been reported that Kotek is out the second. They, they can't obviously make moves before they own the company. Right, right, I, right. I, I, saw, right. I, saw a lot of, I saw a lot of flack from people saying, why didn't they just come in and fire everybody right now? And I'm like, you can't, you you can't do own that. the company. Yeah, you, you can't, can't do that. that. But I, it is being reported that he will be stepping down the second that Phil Spencer takes over as the... Right, so you're going to uh, see a lot of people so. just stop, stop reporting on this and stop caring about it and stuff like that. And that sucks because the Activision Blizzard workers have been through a lot, um, you know, unfortunately, um, uh, even yeah. before. No, I, the hope know. is that, like, they do change the culture there. The whole, that, that's the hope that you you get this sure. yeah, I mean, ownership. You get, you know, have this company in here and try to bring up the culture, make it a you know, more 
you know, safe place to work and more, uh, you know, I mean, inclusive. Role. And I mean, I, and I know it's, it's a campaign mode. It's a campaign mode right now. So you're getting a lot of different perspectives, but like Phil Spencer posted the leadership board at Microsoft right now. And it's like a great inclusive board of, of mix of people. Yeah. And I mean, I understand why he's doing that now. I mean, this is the perfect time to post that. Hey, listen, we are an inclusive company, but he himself oh, has said, course. but he has, he, yeah, he has himself, himself has said they have their, they have their skeletons and their own issues they have to deal and get through. He said that himself in the most recent interview when asked about Activision Blizzard. Um, so there's still changes that need to be done in the industry. That doesn't change. But I do agree with Mike here. It wouldn't have changed anyways for Activision Blizzard without somebody buying them or, or just, I, I, I'm not saying Microsoft. I thought that it was going to take some sort of acquisition from somebody to change that cult, to, to, to get rid of him. Who else would have bought them? I, who else has outside 70, company? Who else has $70 yeah, million? Yeah, who knows? <laughs> Henson. EA doesn't know. have that money. EA is actually worth less than Activision Blizzard. Yeah. There's nobody yeah, else no, unless nobody. unless Sony really wanted to go, and I don't know Apple. if they have the capital. Sure, Apple, Apple, if they really wanted to brute force their Amazon. Amazon. Maybe Amazon. I think, Maybe I think Amazon. might have been able to do it. I just thought with like Amazon games, Netflix, Netflix is not big enough yet. Uh, Amazon or Apple are the two games, the two, I mean, the two companies that want to build some, yeah, they want to build some gaming. And I thought maybe that those two would be the acquisition. Amazon still made sense to me, in my opinion. It really did. It made the most sense. Yeah, but I thought, I thought Amazon was going to make a big move this year. I mean, they could, yeah. but. I mean, honestly, I didn't know Activision was on the block to get sold. But to make changes there, anyways, mm-hmm. Kotick's not stepping down without this. We both, we all know that, right? He's not, he wouldn't leave the company. We've said this how many times on this podcast? No, um, absolutely. But, but that, the, but the point but was, the also, stock was sinking. The stock was sinking. Yeah, oh yeah. This is the time. The the the, the sharks are in the water. This is the time right. to strike. Uh, absolutely. I'm not. I, absolutely not. However, leadership leadership aside, because that's not what this is all about. Like Corey said, this is about acquiring. This is like you said. Also, they're buying their games. They're buying the IPs. Um, Seventy billion dollars for. Is, is it going to be improvements? Do we get better? Because I did post you guys, I mean, a thought from, uh, was it Jeff uh, Grubb, who I mentioned the fact that like Activision has made every year, year year upon year, uh, yearly, they've been reducing the amount of games that they make and focusing on si- single titles. Uh, you know, like Call of Duty, the annual stuff. Uh, does this help in that long run? That, that That's the question. Is that going to change now with Microsoft? Do we get... Ape Escape. Do we get Jack and da- uh, yeah, Daxter? I'm, and J- you know what I mean? Do I'm, we get stuff like that? Well, I'm sure we do because now they own Crash um, and they own uh, the company. Jack and Daxter Kings. was a great platformer back in the day. So, that, I mean, that, that was that's one, right? them or is that that's Naughty, Naughty Dog? Dog. <laughs> oh, is it Naughty Dog? I thought it was Jack and Daxter was, was Activision still. I'm sorry. I thought they owned the all, the, all these B tier 3D platformers, okay. they're all the same. <laughs> Crash, I don't remember who owns that one, but Crash Bandicoot's a good example of that too. I mean, either way. But like, there's great properties out there that... that, They'll, sure, they'll have a chance at resurrecting these old ass IPs. And I would say to that, there's, it's a mixed bag on Microsoft's end. Uh, you look at Battletoads. Sure. That was a piece of fucking shit. I talked about that <laughs> yes. extensively. How yeah, the game fucking yeah, sucked. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah. But, you know, then, uh, you know, uh, the, I'm not sure if you could say Halo was resurrected, but Halo Infinite was obviously very well received compared to halo 5 um hopefully fable is going to come back uh but hopefully. you know and then I mean, uh, the you look at rare you know rare was allowed to do um you know rare whatever the hell they want to do and stuff like that <laughs> yeah. but like they're not they're yeah. not even doing anything with with old rare ips so is it like i don't know i don't yeah, know i know like I, you I have you. all those rare that. rare ips that they could be doing and what are they doing nothing i mean do we get there we go. But we saw that golden eye leak. Maybe that's coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I still think like, do do you get to lure people back now? I mean, like I mentioned, Kaplan, like Jeff Kaplan, who left, right? He's not with another company at the moment. He just left. I and mean, Brennan was on no, the wall no. there, Blizzard. No, people people rarely ever go back. I'm sure Jeff well, already got funny hired part, and is doing the, something. The else crazy now. part that I've seen on Twitter now is all of the people that have recently left Microsoft to join Activision Blizzard. Yeah, they're just back under the Microsoft umbrella. Yeah. They're like, well, I guess I was happy. I was kind of torn about taking this job, but now I'm like, well, now I'm back. <laughs> so yeah. I think one person just left like two months ago. Yeah. So, <laughs> But I mean, even aside from that, I think it's overall bad for the industry because it's just more consolidation. It's and consolidated. it's borderline yeah. uh, monopolistic at this point. Yeah. I, I would yes. say that except there's really like Call of Duties and Overwatch or like the only active like things that they're doing anything with. It's not even Overwatch, really. 
I mean, it's, Activision's so big. They have so many games. I mean, it, it's such a big value I company. Guess, like, just by value, just they're, it's a huge acquisition well, just for the industry. I don't know how many, how many other Activision games can you No, but them? Tony just said, market cap-wise, you're talking about a $50 billion company that was in the video game industry now that is now folded into, folded into Microsoft. Right. The big three so were just EA, EA, Activision, and yeah. Ubisoft. One of those just got yeah. removed. Like, and one actually absorbed. was the top of them. Right, like, exactly. It wasn't even close. Exactly. Yeah. And it wasn't even close. It wasn't even close. Right. So you have EA now and Ubisoft out there. Mm -hmm. Well, again, the I just games. kind of feel like they weren't exactly, like, at the top of innovation recently anyway. It doesn't no, matter not, if they're on the top no, of innovation. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying they're... Well, that's the whole, the whole idea of, you know, why you want of... competition. You want them to act, not rest on their laurels. Yeah. And all they do is pump out Call of Duty as every year anyway. So my, my how, how is it going to get worse? They brought back Crash. Years. They brought back Spyro. They brought back Tony Hawk. All of the last yeah. two years. Crash Team Racing. And they're, Obviously, they're Call of Duty is the biggest industry. one. But to, to say that they don't do other stuff is kind of like not true. Yeah, It's not so. substantial. Now these, <laughs> these are... Uh, to you, guys, those are huge things. Do multi million like, these these all stay exclusive now to Xbox going forward or what, what do you think? It's gonna be a mixed bag, just like uh, yeah. they announced with uh, Bethesda, you know. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, There's no way Call of Duty goes goes exclusivity. All that's gonna you don't, do is you don't get uh, no. No, no but no more so many timed exclusive stuff for Call of Duty. That was that's gone. <laughs> so unless they pay them. I mean Microsoft's not opposed well, to making money, we've heard that. Probably have to I just, I would, I mean, the only, the only thing I'd like to point out here, though, is, I mean, a couple of years back, we were talking about how Microsoft may sell off their gaming industry, the side of things, their whole Xbox side, they were going to mm -hmm. sell that. Now look at this thing. Now they're just throwing money into it. So Phil Spencer has obviously instilled some sort of confidence in uh, the, the the leadership at Microsoft right now. Yeah. What's and uh, Cytella. Uh, Cytella. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean... It's amazing what he's done for the company, but I still haven't seen these results. No, that's what, this I'm, is what I'm We're still waiting on the results from like about. acquisitions yes. from like five years ago. Yes, and you that's know? my that's my work, and so, that, that is my concern. You know, that's my. Well, concern. I mean, we got to see what they do more with Bethesda. They've obviously thrown a bunch of stuff on Game Pass. Bethesda is going to be nice. good. Yeah. I mean, Game we Pass have to is... see how Starfield comes out. That, I mean, Game Pass is like... like, but Starfield is so far in development at this point. It's Microsoft not even going to touch it. It's going to be like, finish this fucking game for us, please. Game Pass is going uh, to like twenty bucks a month now. There's, there's no way it doesn't increase to like twenty bucks a month. Yeah, absolutely. You're going to be paying a lot more for fucking Game Pass pretty soon. Yeah, there's, there's no, no way. way. But even then, get, but even then twenty bucks a month to pay play the newest games and no, no, absolutely. A lot of games. I mean, that's a yeah, lot of games. I mean, sure. It's a lot yeah, of value. Like, if you're uh, looking at it strictly from a Game Pass user perspective, yeah, absolutely, that's a great value. But for yeah. the industry, that's that's consolidation. It's less competition. Absolutely. It's less places for potential video game uh, industry well, uh, it, employees. About less competition, I feel like it's 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 gonna. What the biggest thing I feel is gonna hurt is it's gonna cause other companies to now need to do similar things. Oh yeah, I, I guarantee you, Sony. I, I guarantee you, Sony. The instant they heard this, started calling up. Like started talking to their accountants, be like, "Who the fuck can we buy?" Ubisoft, right now? How, how you doing over there? Yeah, because Ubisoft, yeah. they're not doing too well. Ubisoft's you know. the one I ex I expected Ubisoft. I didn't expect Activision Blizzard. Like that was like I do expect but Ubisoft no, to actually. I think that's what I'm saying. Purchase. Like because like, you know Sony's doing so well with their their branding and their exclusive platforms on their console, and then you see this. The thing is like. Yeah, this is kind of scary. It's going to push companies into doing it, but you're not going to really see the results of this for like years to come. No, yeah, like, no. a lot of this stuff. No. Like, I mean, no, I, we will. We'll see Game Pass is the day one, which would be pretty awesome to see now. Um, not to mention, I forgot to put the Ubisoft games. I mean, I'm game saying Game Pass the availability of all those things there will have been been there. So, but so the influence of Microsoft on that company will be years right. to come. Yeah, we won't and see that for a while. Exclusives too, and the exclusive things that Activision Blizzard, you know, pushes out and sure. King, I suppose. Sure. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I mean, I do expect exclusive content for the there's, Xbox, there's jelly bean but Call game. of Duty, I just, I just can't see Call of Duty going Xbox exclusive. No. I just can't. No, no, there's no way. We'll see. Mike, you're being quiet over there. What do you think? I mean, honestly, like, I'm not that interested in the gaming side of this, to be honest. Um, so, I mean, no, I don't think Call of Duty goes exclusive. That doesn't make any sense, but. Um, I do think maybe Overwatch 2 could be exclusive. I would go out that far. 
And then now, now it might actually come out. Yeah, I mean, I do see like, but like major, like something like Call. I just can't see Call of Duty doing it. But there are games I could see going exclusive. I want to say that part of Overwatch's success was that it was on literally everything, including the Nintendo Switch. So for it to be Xbox exclusive would be pretty. I mean, if they're just going for like, you know, we want people on Game Pass to just play this game. Sure. If anything, if anything, I still just see this as another chip in the, the huge chip in Microsoft's pile and being like, hey, Sony, you want Game Pass on PlayStation? Well, you do it because that's yeah. where the money is. Yeah. Because now all of a sudden they have, what's PlayStation for? I think 120 million? You have 120 million potential customers for Game Pass. Yeah. That's, that's what the they next want. market. I mean, that is the want. next that's market. What that's, what yeah. that's what they want. That's yeah. what they want. And they want it on Nintendo Switch. Another 100 million units they, that they can get Game Pass subscriptions from. Like, that's absolutely yeah. where they want I to did, I, I made that prediction. I still think Game Pass comes to the Switch this year. I really do. That's um, possible. It makes the most sense. So, Nintendo, Nintendo's weird about stuff like that, though. The no, they are. Wow, just to run up a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I it know. could just be, you know, it could just start out with um, xCloud, you know, xCloud gaming. Right? Yeah, X, xCloud, yeah. I could do it first. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, anything else to cover, guys? I think we got this pretty well. We got This is going to be a long Major time. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. Be this is just the beginning. <laughs> just the beginning. So, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap up this bonus round. Um, thanks for tuning in. It's been, it's been a heck of a day. So, yeah. Uh, Again, guys, our of the years are this month, so keep checking out our podcast. We're on Twitch, streaming live. If you're watching this, guys, welcome. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next set, uh, the next podcast. We're out.